Good morning. It's Thursday, January 6, 2022, and this is another edition of Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw, right here in beautiful downtown Duran. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here once again with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Thursday is going well. We continue reading this morning from the book Truth for Life. It was written by Alistair Begg, who I highly recommend. Check him out on uh, Spotify or any of the place where you do podcasting. Uh, Pastor Begg wrote this book last year. It's a collection of 365 devotions. It is copyright 2021, Good Book Company. Let's get started. Proverbs chapter 7, verses 1 through 3. My son, keep my words and treasure up my commandments with you. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teaching as apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. I find it a dangerous thing to do grocery shopping when I'm hungry. (laughs) I find myself tempted to buy food that under normal circumstances would not appeal to me at all. I'm not alone, according to King Solomon. Proverbs 27, 7 says, One who is full loathes honey, but to one who is hungry, everything bitter is sweet. This same principle can be applied to our pursuit of purity. There is real danger in going through our days spiritually hungry because we have not fed well upon the word of God. If we're going to make any meaningful attempt at maintaining our purity, It is imperative that we not only read God's word, but we also cherish it. Solomon, the king of Israel, to whom God gave wisdom that surpassed anyone else's, uses language that gets at the notion of cherishing God's word when he tells his son to keep his words, to treasure them, to keep them as the apple of his eye, to bind them and to write them on his heart. To relate to God's word this way requires us to get beyond using the Bible merely as a textbook to study, a book of proof text for arguments, or a promise book to which we occasionally turn. Cherishing God's word requires us to seek the perspective of the psalmist, who, distancing himself from the proud and scoffers of his day, says of the man who is walking with God, his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. There is a direct correlation between delighting in God's word, uh, allowing it to control and guide our lives, and maintaining a zeal for purity. If we fail to cherish scripture, the question is not if we will stumble, but when. Every one of us can keep our way pure by hiding God's word in our hearts. Do you have a plan for reading and memorizing scripture? Let me challenge you to make a commitment to memorize a verse of the Bible, whether it's every day or every other day or every week or every year, whatever. Make a plan. Stick with it. Feast on God's word and be satisfied. Cherish the scriptures and be pure. Father, how grateful we are for this Thursday for the gift of life and the opportunities this day brings. So we invite your presence. We ask you to guide our steps through this day, Lord, and fill it with your obvious and powerful presence. Help us to serve you well as we serve others, Lord. We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Thursday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for joining me. I hope it was a blessing to you. For now, this is Pastor Steve Wood signing off. Happy Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow.